Welcome back to Bloodstained Curse of... Curse of the Campfire. Yeah, uh, in, in this part, they catch on fire because the uh, campfire got too large. Mm -hmm. Oh god, oh fucking Campfire burn. turned into a bonfire, oh, god, turned into a forest fire. Oops. A anyway, now we're getting into unfamiliar territory for Gabe. Sir, all I remember is this part. <laughs> like, just the entrance here and... Oh. That's it. I really like this <laughs> song, though. This is uh or what happened? Did it was I stop? time for the oh, recording just... session. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I had time to play. Gabe oh, didn't yeah. play the game when it came out. Nope. So Evan generously purchased the game for me. I gifted it to him because he wasn't going to do it on his own. Yes, sir. Wait, so have you just, like, not been within the funds to buy this since July? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I had a chance to. But, but you then... forgot? Yeah, pretty much. Because then I was like, oh, I need to catch up on some other games that I've been playing. Um, so. But I mean, like, that's, that is kind of, that, that like, that is kind of alarming. Like, it shows that your priorities need to be elsewhere if, like, you know, because it's like a $15 game. <laughs> you know how that should be. It's like groceries, bills, and fucking payments, baby. Look at you having your own home. I live in my parents' house like a real boy. <laughs> Sorry, right. you know what they say about real boys. <laughs> Pinocchio. I live in a church like a real Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, I feel like Carrie. You're like a good fake Christian. <laughs> let me okay. Let me rephrase that. So, you're a. Let's see. Where do I? Where am I going with this? All right, I found. Okay, I'm excited. Go. This is gonna All be right. good. Also, there's a bunch of suits of armors that are similar to one that. I won't be offended no matter what you say. So don't right, worry. Cool. Oh, that guy went oh. in. What the fuck? I'm there's back really back? hard to offend. Gaming. Okay, that guy's gaming. There's actually two kinds. There's that. There's the uh, one that just comes in like ready to go, but there's another one that you'll see later on in this stage. Uh, so uh, so Karaya, I remember you saying like, you don't like fancy yourself to be the religious type. You like religion, like you like uh, learn. <gasps> Dude, I'm super religious. I'm not spiritual. I make the joke that I'm religious but not spiritual because people say they're spiritual but not religious. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember you using the phrase uh, "pretty agnostic" for a religion junkie once. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what I mean. Like, you know, you're not just like like if I sneeze, you're like, God blesses you and every single one you know, and God fucking bless you and keep your crops you all the are gonna be life. cool, and your fucking prosperity is gonna be gangster as fuck because God loves you. You see, you see, like, you I see. I tell my priest friend; she'd probably punch me. Carrie's welcome to say either because she's. Because like say either of the things, she can say bless you because uh, she's Christian, and uh, yeah. she can say gesundheit because she Sunheit. knows German. Help! Oh, I'll just scream help to you. I love she how knows, that means help. She, she knows <laughs> kraut. Um. <laughs> Wait, kraut? <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you not know about that? I mean, I know kraut is a I food. Know about that. <laughs> Oh, so it's okay. like a, it's like a derogatory name for a German. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> is it offensive? Like, they like... No, no, no. It's not offensive. It's just like, okay, like you know how like Brits say Yanks instead of Americans. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. It's better they say, than a they of... say Yanks because we're always yanking their chain. Yeah, yeah, because like <laughs> the Yankees, right? So like, if I say Kraut, it's not like offensive derogatory. It's a, like a nickname. Well, if I were to Yankee say... was at one point very offensive. Yeah, fucking... Was it? This yeah. I didn't know that. Because the song, the song "Yankee Doodle", Yankee Doodle. was uh, actually uh, written to make fun of uh, Americans, yeah, or to be more specific, well, uh, that, but... to be more specific, uh, colonists, because it was a uh, pre-revolutionary yeah. wartime. Yes, sir. Um, Interesting. More you know. Yeah, uh, that whole song makes fun of uh, colonists. Um, it, but anyway, Kraut was like more of a World War One thing, so it's it's been enough. Time. Um, but uh, oh, here's the other guy. Oh, uh, he backs up and he looks then, like a Zaku. Uh, what the fuck? And then he shoots fire, but I killed him before he could. That's a Zaku right there. Not Shars, but you know. It is there, that's what he does. He throws the fire bomb. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Gabe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I think it's really funny. I think it's really funny how like uh, the British kind of came up with that term to make fun of Americans, and then Americans turned it into uh, one of the most famous baseball teams of all time. <laughs> yes, sir, the New York Yankees, baby, get fucked, idiots. 
We have Babe yeah, Ruth. Then we Fuck have you. The, the, Ber the Berlin Krauts. The, Ber <laughs> the Berlin Krauts. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down these Germans. <laughs> you know, that actually kind of reminds me of when I was watching, because, um, like, lately I've been watching the uh, Loop on the Third Red Jacket series again. And it's like, you know, I watched the third episode, and it, like, takes place in Germany. But the thing is, it really lets you know how long ago that episode was made, because there's, like, a whole thing about uh, trying to get across the Berlin Wall. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this was made in 1977. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, the Cold War. What a good time. Not really. What a, what a spooky time. Yeah, uh, we weren't uh, alive for it. Was, well, my boy Reagan thought he was sick as fuck when he made the Star Wars program. It's like a giant like satellite. Reagan made Star Wars? <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, I didn't know, like, I didn't know Reagan directed Star Wars. Like, Star Wars. Beforehand, like, you know. He is like, oh, what if I take the name of this movie so the American public is super behind it? And that's what happened. But also, the rest of the government wasn't because it would cost millions of dollars at the time. Gave the moon Which landing oh was God. before Star Wars. <laughs> Ooh, okay, he's got... Yeah, that guy's got ammo for days. <laughs> hang on, hang on. You ready for this? Oh, also, that's one of the power-ups you... that you can get, too, is, Robert, you, uh, you, like, can shoot fast, yes. and you shoot two guns. Yeah, oh the, the, the bandana. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know what? You know it's what? Not great. Part of me thinks that may actually have been a Metal Gear Solid 2 reference, because it's, like, it's a bandana that now allows him to, like, shoot rapid fire, and it just makes me think of Snake pointing at his bandana going, infinite ammo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this stage. Pretty cool. Yeah. Good cast. Back. It's a nice, it's it's the churchy stage, honestly. Like it, like it's a castle, but it has a real church feel to it in my views, my eyes. Castles are churches for kings. <laughs> you know what I like? Um, so there's a lot behind that. So uh, in a in a Bloodstained Curse of the Moon one, uh, the moon was went, went from a crescent to a full moon as it went throughout the stage. Like it was progressively getting more full. In this game. Uh, the moon's full the whole time, but it progressively gets bigger and redder. Yes, sir. From the harvest I to the blood moon. I'm noticing that. I'm like, are we in Majora's Mask again? It's <laughs> it's not... Well, I mean, yeah, it's getting bigger, so yeah, that is the connection. Yeah. They connected yeah. through the connection. Wait, maybe we can have Hachi stop it with his trainness. And four Hachis. <laughs> Oh, four Hachis! No, oh like, my god! Hachi is so powerful, we just need one. They all punch the moon one. at the same time with their, uh... Oh, yeah. Their sub-weapon active, and they punch it back into the sky. Hey, one Hachi could stop a giant train engine. I think four could stop the moon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't mean... No, that's what I'm saying. One Hachi suit of armor, dude. Operation Fuck the Moon. <laughs> Operation... I'd rather not do that. Just... Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Oh, oh fuck the moon. Me and my homies hate the moon. <laughs> Jay, why do you I hate like the moon? Me and my homies. What would happen to the Earth if there was no moon? Let's let's lift this up. Uh, shit what would, get would happen pretty to wet. the Earth hey, without the moon? Okay. Well, in Sonic Adventure 2, Eggman I... blows up half the moon. And yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, it's true. It's nothing a happens. Perpetual crescent moon. No, it's a perpetual <laughs> half moon. Yeah. Unless it's in Wayne. That's fair. Until Shadow oh. the Hedgehog, where the moon's suddenly full again. Wayne the Dr Wayne the Rock Johnson. Wayne? Because the moon is a giant rock, and it's in Wayne. Oh. Like the moon phases. There you go. Look at Top that. Top five things that would happen without the moon. The nights would be much darker. Oh, wow. Thanks. Number two. Without the moon, a day on Earth would only last six to 12 hours. Oh. oh Alaska. Interesting. So the gravitational pull of the moon perhaps slows the Earth rotation. Okay. That's interesting. That guy a moonless Earth would also change the size of the ocean tides. Yes, that makes sense. But you know what it wouldn't do? It wouldn't change the span of a year because that's the Earth gravitating around the sun. That's true. true. Um, and it wouldn't make time go by more quickly, as far as I'm aware. No, so would. basically it would just mean that every year has more days in it, but is generally still the same span of time because the days are just shorter. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sure. without the moon, the tilt of our Earth's axis would, axis would vary over time. This could create some very wild weather. Right now, thanks to our moon, our axis stays tilted at 23.5 oh, degrees. Time for a oh, familiar moon, face for this boss. Oh. Guess what? what? It's... He came from the back. She. That's sick. She ca it's oh. Grimory from the it's... first game. Oh, hello. Hello there. She was the final boss in the first game, but unfortunately in this game she was demoted to stage 7 regular boss. Oh darn. Hachi oh, to get that annihilates oh, the, the difficulty. Bees. Watch out for the bees. Ha yeah, she still has like the bees locust death. attack or whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, Hachi makes her a joke, but without Hachi, uh, she's significantly harder than she was in the first game. Beat the shit out of her, Jesus Christ. Catch this fucking, catch these pistons, brother. She's so hot. So I would hot, she. Probably not let her kill me. I don't like the range though around Wait, her. isn't Hachi also the word for a bee in J J Japanese? It is. Yeah. So we have our bee attack here. We do. Get fucked, dweeb. I wonder where the desperation attack is. Oh, that's just gonna be crazy. Oh! She she enters her uh, second phase form She's from uh, the first game and just you. does a moon attack. I see. Wow, that's a very small moon. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's that's also oh a very gosh. large oh, laser. Oh my. She's she's. I feel she's... like for you know crashing a, a planetoid into the stage, the explosion would be a lot bigger. But now you don't have a moon. Ability. By the way, by the way, Hachi is also uh, Japanese for the number eight. It's just true. I knew that. Uh -huh. Hachi's oh, so what comes after cat. seven? B. Like... What comes after seven? <laughs> B. Bees. 